Hello everyone, my name is Swati Shalika and uh, in this video I will tell you about um, entrapment method for wholesale immobilization. Okay, in this method, um, in this method, enzymes are physically entrapped inside a porous matrix. You can see this diagram. Bonds involved in stabilizing the cells to the matrix may be covalent or non-covalent. The matrix uh, used will be water-soluble uh, polymer. The form and nature of matrix varies with different uh, enzyme uh, pore size of the matrix can be adjusted with the concentration of the polymer used. The greatest disadvantage of this method is that there is a possibility of leakage of low molecular weight enzyme from the matrix. Okay. Uh, there are some example commonly used matrices for entrapment are polyacrylamide gel, cellulose, uh, triacetate, agar, gelatin, alginate, etc. Okay. Now, methods of entrapment. First method is inclusion in the gel. Here, enzymes trapped inside the gels. Second is inclusion in fibers. Here, enzymes supported on fibers made of matrix, matrix uh, material. Uh, last is inclusion in micro capsules. Here, enzymes or cells entrapped in micro uh, capsules formed by monomer mixture such as polyamine and calcium alginate. And there are some advantages of entrapment. It is fast, cheap and easy to practice at small scale. For this mild uh, condition are required less chance of uh, conformational changes in enzymes and it can be used for sensing application. Disadvantages of entrapment, chance of uh, leakage of enzymes, uh, also poor diffusion limitation, chance of microbial contamination is very high. So this is all about entrapment method.